now we're going to go through the safety of some of the, the hand tools that we use. So right now this here is called, it's, it's a Milwaukee uh, impact driver. So it's used for fastening wood together, right? So it has a collet on the top to accept this Red Robinson fit. So in order for it to fit in, as you can see, if I were to just push it down, it falls out. But there's actually two little, there's ball bearings that go all the way around the collet that lock in this little groove on the bit. So once it, once it accepts it, you can't pull it out. As you can see, put it in, lift the collet, push it down, it can't come out. So then, obviously we don't have a battery on this one here. So we would, we would get a battery from uh, the cabinet. Now in order to make sure that it has a full charge, there's a little button on the back of the battery and if you push this button there will be a bar that lights up and it'll tell you if there's four bars it, it's it's on full charge if it's not recharge and get another one now in order to put this on it slides in these little teeth right here you slip it down and it clicks in in order to remove it you have to push these buttons in and pull out. If you don't do that, you'll be there all day. So we're going to get a, uh, a Robertson screw, which fits right on top of the Robertson bit. And we will put a screw in this port. And when you, when you screw in, you want to make sure that there's even pressure above the board. It's in reverse. Oh yeah, I should tell you that too. So right now, there's a button on the right hand side. If you push this in, it goes forward, it goes clockwise. If you push it the other way, it will go counterclockwise, it'll take the screw out. Right now we want the screw to go in, we push it in, put it back on. And you hear that, that noise, it'll tell you that is putting enough torque on the screw in order to go in the board. When you hear that noise, you know you're getting close to the amount of pressure that, that the screw is to go in, so it won't split the board. If you were to go all the way through and torque all the way through on another board, it wants to force the material out and split the board. All right? So uh, it's a, basically a self-explanatory tool. It's basically for putting screws in the wood. That's it. When, nice you, st when you store this and you're gonna put it away, you put this lever here with my fingers on At halfway. Neutral. So it's halfway between forwards and backwards. So if Mr. LeDuc pulls the trigger now, nothing will happen but the light comes on. And if, if there's no charge on the battery, pull it out and put it back where it's supposed to go. Now we'll use that same bit in a drill driver to take the screw out now. So this here's the drill driver, which this one here is the top of the line tool. As you can see on the top, it has different graduations, which this tells us the amount of torque that this here will actually spin at in order for the screw to go in. So the lower the number, it will be less torque. So if, if, you, if you were doing something really finesse or something like that, you could make it go into the wood and it would hardly put any pressure and it would spin off. You would hear the clutch would slip and it go click, 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 click and you wouldn't even hear a noise. But if you wanted, if you were putting like two by fours or framing something, you want to have more torque on the top so the, it goes into the wood and it doesn't stall out. So once again, the battery, you want to make sure it's charged. You push the button. This one here is half charged, so we're good to go. If we wanted to put the Robertson bit inside the drill, we stick it in forward and you hold on to the top while you're spinning it and it will come down and it will lock on the jaws nice and flat so when it gets tight as I'm going to show you the, the torque setting if it was on six see how it spins I'm hardly, I'm hardly putting pressure on it if I wanted more torque to tighten it tighter I turn it to 20 and it's harder 
Now it's harder to tighten it. So it's good. Now we also have different speeds. Number one, slower. Number two, quicker. So if, if you were uh, drilling into two by fours and stuff like that where you needed a lot of torque, obviously you put it on number one because when the, the screw is a lot longer, it doesn't spin and it doesn't strip the bit and it doesn't strip inside the screw, right? But if you were putting in drywall, well, then put it on number two. It can be a lot quicker, okay? So um, this one here. Now, I don't, this one here is in a hammer drill, but also we can also drill in the concrete as well. The other one that we, I, I think we do have one, do we not? We do. Yeah, there would be a, like a little hammer symbol right on the top of the drill driver, which you could also drill into the concrete floor in order if you were framing your basement, which I think Mr. Neal is grabbing one right here. As you can see, there's different settings right here. And right here, if we want it to be a hammer drill, we would, we would turn it to the hammer. We turn it, it's not to a hammer drill, it's just a regular drill driver. This one here, you can actually put a concrete drill bit inside the drill and you can drill it right into the concrete. All right? Uh, this one here, the only, the only really unsafe thing that you, you can do is if you don't hold it properly, you can you know wear the skin off your hands. But take if you want to, if, oh, we want to take the screw out. Okay, so we're gonna stick it in reverse push it the opposite way. I always like number 12 for some reason. Stick it inside and take the screw out. And there you are. That's the drill driver.